Hi, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerPHP.com and KillerSites.com. In this quick little video, I'm going to answer a question that was recently put to me. Why did you choose the Zen framework? Why didn't you choose a Cake PHP or Code Igniter? And there's a whole slew of other ones out there as well. There's two basic reasons why I chose the Zen framework. And this is in 2007 when it was still in beta. There's two basic reasons why I decided to go with the Zen framework versus the other PHP frameworks that are out there. The first reason was a nerd, nerd technical reason. And essentially, well, let me back up a couple of steps. Why did I look for in any web application framework, whether it be Zen or uh, Cake or whatnot? I'm looking for an MVC, a model view controller based framework, first and foremost. If you don't know what MVC is, you can look it up on the web or Killer PHP and talk about it there. Essentially, that's the number one thing. The other thing that I look for is a flexibility in the framework. And um, what do I mean by flexibility? Well, I'll put this in the context of the Zen framework. What I liked about the Zen framework versus other frameworks out there, and maybe they've changed from from what I recall back in 07, but the thing that I liked about the Zen framework was that it was very um, flexible and it was modular. You did not have to use the entire framework to take advantage of it at all. So if I wanted to, I could just dive into some of the Zen libraries and use them in even single, simple PHP pages. Whereas, in contrast to that, the other frameworks I was looking at at the time, uh, they seemed to be much more of an all or nothing deal. You had to use the entire MVC structure or you couldn't really use the framework. Zend gave us that flexibility in their framework and that was one of the main technical reasons why I decided to go with Zend versus other frameworks. The other big reason why I went with the Zen framework is because of who was backing the Zen framework, and that, of course, is the Zen company. And what's significant about that is that, well, Zend is the company behind PHP. They basically manage PHP. And they're partnered with IBM and other big companies so you know that if Zen puts out something, it's likely going to be adopted by the general community. So back in 2007, uh, give or take, yes, yeah, 2007, when Zen was still in beta, I had faith that the Zen framework would slowly rise and become the predominant framework in the PHP community. And now in 2009, and that seems to be the case. So what's the advantage of that? Why do you care about the community around the technology? Why do you care about the viability of the community around a technology, whether it be a web application framework or any piece of software? Comes out to a few things. Number one, you want to be sure that if you invest time and effort and you deploy applications in a particular framework or you invest time in a particular software package, you want to make sure that you want to, you know, you want to maximize your chance anyway. That this uh, particular, you know, framework will continue to be developed over time. So I knew that with the Zen and the Zen community, that the Zen framework would continue to evolve, and be uh, polished and added to and perfected, uh, more likely than any of the other frameworks. I'm sure that Cake and Code Igniter they got strong communities, but you never know. So what you should take away from this is that you always got to look to the community so that you can ensure afford development of the platform or framework that you happen to choose. The other reason I chose the Zen framework over others is because, again, a pragmatic reason is what I felt that it would probably become the standard and because of who's behind it. And I felt that it would hasten the development of the framework. I felt that there would be more innovations in the Zen framework versus others because of the stronger community. So this, besides having technological advantages where you're gonna get the latest and the greatest more quickly, it's also very good for you as a developer, as a PHP developer, because 
you're more likely to have people looking for Zen developers than Symphony developers or uh, Cake developers, perhaps. And again, this has much less to do with the technical capabilities of the fr frameworks, and it has much more to do with the fact that the Zen framework is backed by the Zen company, which is essentially PHP. Let me outline what can happen when a technology is no longer supported. The downside. Back in 2000, Microsoft dropped their original page-based web application framework, if we're going to call it that, ASP. Now it's called ASP Classic, Active Server Pages. And it was a capable technology. People have done a lot of good stuff with it, but Microsoft decided, okay, we're going to we're going to shut that down and we're going to go to ASP.NET. And ASP.NET is so different from classic ASP that many classic ASP people did not transition to ASP.NET because it's, it's, it's a totally different paradigm. ASP.NET is much closer and much more similar to JSP, Java server pages, than it was to classic ASP. So a lot of ASP people, they stuck to classic ASP because they didn't want to jump over to ASP.NET. And over time, they find themselves being left behind because there's no future development in classic ASP. I think it went to ASP3 from ASP 2.0 to ASP3, but it's, it's, a, it's a very hobbled web page technology now. It's, it's uh, I don't know if hobbled is the right word, but it's very, very limited and they're basically left out, you know, they're hung out to, hung out to dry, so to speak. It's, um, that's it, you know, <laughs> that's what happens when you find yourself in a dead-end technology. The world quickly goes by and uh, you're left nowhere. And so these people actually, interesting enough, a lot of them moved over to PHP because that PHP was a lot easier to pick up and learn than ASP.NET, but that's another story. And finally, I just want to point out that one, one of my assistants who was working with me on the project from 2007, when we, when we were using Zen Beta, uh, Zen Framework in Beta rather, he, just recently actually, it turned out to be a good move because he was contacted by a large corporation who want to incorporate Zen uh, in, in their back-end operations. So having that Zen knowledge paid off for him in terms of getting a pretty good gig.